Hey there YouTube, this is SJM4306 back with another video. This time we're looking at a pair of rechargeable Bluetooth wireless headphones. These guys are made by a company called HMusic and they very kindly reached out to see if I wanted to review one of their pairs of headphones. And this guy caught my eye because it looks sort of like their mid to higher range model. Uh, and this guy retails, just to let you guys know, for I think just under 70 bucks, about 65 or 70 bucks, I can't remember exactly. And there may or may not be a coupon, I don't really remember. Anyway, uh, comes in black and white, and this seems to be like solidly built. It's like 32 hour battery, has uh, auxiliary, like a wired mode, which is always awesome once your battery dies. You know, a lot of Bluetooth headphones are useless unless if they have an auxiliary input, and this does. So, uh, without further ado, let's just pop into this guy. And, Oh wow, actually has like a nice travel case, which, eh, give me one sec. That's a very nice like travel case, wow, okay. Very, very well packed, uh, foam like everywhere. Yeah, it's just like one of these zippered travel cases with a, like a little eyelet for if you wanna, I guess, hook like a carabiner or something on there. Anyway. Opens up, very nice insides. It's like, uh, not felt, feels sort of like neoprene actually. And we have the headphones themselves. I forgot to mention these are on-ear, not over-ear. And the distinction of that is on-ear sits on your ears, as its name implies, and over-ears, surprise, surprise, sit over your ears. Generally, over-ears are slightly more comfortable. I mean, it, it really depends on the design ultimately, but in general, over ears are a little less comfortable because they put pressure on your ears. And uh, generally they're not as good at, as like passive noise cancellation. Uh, and I say passive because this doesn't have active noise cancellation at all. So these are just basically Bluetooth headphones. Holding them though for the first time, they feel pretty substantial. They're not super light. Uh, the weakest point in a lot of headphones is like always this joint between the ear cup and the headband. This is solid metal. So that is probably not going to break. The band is plastic, uh, but it has to be slightly flexible to adjust for your head. So I'll forgive them that. Uh, it has like a silicone rubber liner on the top. So it's, it's not like a hard piece of plastic pressing into your skull. And yeah, it has their logo here. But other than that, yeah, metal. I think that's metal. No, maybe that's plastic. Yeah, that's plastic, sorry. I thought this was metal just from the way it felt and sort of the uh, the anodized look to it. But yeah, no, this is plastic. It does have, ooh, ooh, interesting. Um, so to adjust the ear cups, it just slides in and out. There's no detents, so it's continuously variable. That should make it a bit more adjustable. The ear cups do swivel left and right. They do not swivel up and down though. Oh, oh, okay, there's a little bit of articulation actually. The ear cups themselves actually swivel with respect to this back piece here. So yeah, there is like a, uh, a 360 degree joint on that. So there is some adjustment uh, up and down and left and right as well. That's good to see. There is like some kind of port vent on that side, maybe that's where the microphone is. This does have a built-in microphone so you can take and receive calls. Uh, we have, ooh, rubber buttons. That's interesting. So they're very clicky. I, I like clicky buttons, like that's really good feedback. So we have what appears to be four buttons, um, like a up, down, and then a center, and then an extra button here. We have a USB-C input, thank God. And uh, the auxiliary input is off to the side and nothing on the other ear cup. The gold accents, I, I'd be remiss not to mention that. Uh, it looks really nice, actually. It's like not too gaudy. It's mostly black, but a little bit of gold accent just near like all the ports and stuff. Yeah, this is a nice looking pair of headphones. But more important than how headphones look is how they sound. And we'll test that in a sec. And we have what appears to be a USB cord. This one looks fairly short, probably under a foot long. So it's probably gonna be like eight inches or so. Uh, but it does look like it's uh, fairly well made. Yeah, very nice. It's like 
everything's like this really nice silicone rubber. Yeah, so that's really nice to have an extra one of those. The aux cord is likewise also really nice, like silicone, very rubbery rubber. And this guy is notably longer. And if you give me one sec, I will tell you exactly how long this is. Well, more or less exactly. Aux cord is a solid like four feet long. So yeah, I'm going to take this to work and use this for like teleconferencing, watch YouTube videos, you know, during lunch break, listening to music while I work, et cetera, et cetera. And uh, get back to you guys on how this performs. So give me one sec for that. Okay, it's uh, been quite a while actually. I've been using these. I used them personally for two weeks and then I gave them to my mom to use because these are actually gonna go to my mom. She needed a new pair of headphones. And uh, so this will sort of be a combined impression for both me as well as what my mom told me about uh, when she used them. So things that I like about this, these are actually rather comfortable. I could wear these for quite a while, uh, even though these are on-ear. Generally, they're less, generally on-ears are less comfortable, but these were on the more comfortable size for um, on-ear headphones that I've, I've tested in the past. Actual material craftsmanship, no problems with that, built very well. Uh, I remember these were a little bit pricier, I think in the $60 price range, uh, but I can kind of forgive that just based off of the build quality. The sound, do you like bass? <laughs> uh, these are a little bass heavy, if I'm being honest. Uh, they're catered towards kind of that punchy party music, sort of dance music, um, sort of venue of music. So if you like that, then these will probably make you happy. If you don't, if you just want flat response headphones, uh, you probably want to look elsewhere. Battery life. <clears throat> so this is the one thing that um, both me and my mom agree on. Uh, Battery life could be better. Just with casual testing over the course of a week, I found that these were probably getting around like 10 to 12 hours of battery life. And I forget exactly what they specify in the, the sales page in the user manual, but I'm pretty sure they were saying this would get like up to like 30 hours. So yeah, no, under normal usage, when you're like clicking the buttons and switching through music and like listening normally like over bluetooth these you're only going to be getting probably up to like 15 hours so half of what they specify as the uh the battery life which is still it's okay and it is good that it has just an easy to use uh usb-c connector so you can charge it with any phone charger pretty much nowadays so that may or may not be an issue but yeah if you wanted headphones that will last a long time these are not them the test where I have my laptop connected to these. I leave my laptop on my work desk and then I walk about, I don't know, 20, 25 feet away to the nearest bathroom. And the bathroom is concrete lined and it must have lead or something in the walls because almost every pair of headphones I, I try to walk away from my laptop into the bathroom with, they always cut out like as soon as I shut the door as a metal door. So uh, these seem to do actually a little bit better than other pairs um, that I've test, done that test with in the past. Uh, they can keep a bit of a connection, but they definitely start dropping out as soon as you shut the door, but they at least maintain the connection. They don't instantly disconnect. So in terms of like connection strength and range, these seem to be a little bit better than average. I do really like the buttons actually. They're like this rubber soft touch and they, they're very clicky. I mean, you can hear that. So yeah, that's the buttons are really nice here. Easy enough to feel the center is raised. So you can definitely do this while it's on your head. I tested with the um, auxiliary input as well. And I will say the Bluetooth is, is much more bass heavier than if you just connect it over um, auxiliary input. So overall, pretty happy with these. These are pretty stylish, very well-made pair of headphones. I appreciate that they come with this nice case. Uh, and that they fold down pretty small for um, for the size headphones that they are. So one last point I almost forgot to say, but it is very important, was um, during certain portions of the audio playing, if it got quiet enough, I could kind of hear like there was a digital noise floor sound. And you, you had to turn up the audio volume uh, in order to hear this. And it was just sort of, I guess it's always there, but when the audio is quiet enough, 
on kind of the input side uh, over Bluetooth. When you actually connect via the auxiliary port, you don't hear any of that. But yeah, um, that's just something to note that uh, if you listen to, I guess, like piano music or classical music, that might be more apparent than if you listen to something with like a higher uh, sort of peak noise output distributed all throughout the music, something like, I don't know, like hip hop or dance music or whatever EDM. Uh, you're probably not as likely to notice that. But yeah, definitely, I would probably not suggest these for like quieter types of music because of that. Yeah, so if you guys are looking for a new pair of Bluetooth headphones that are pretty stylish and very like bass heavy, uh, definitely check out H Music. I will have uh, links to the sales page down below. And yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.